Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap for Tuesday, September 21st, uh, plus 1,110 on the day. Green day, not not thrilled about the way I got there, but green nonetheless. Uh, let's start with the Mighty 90s, had two trades, Disney for plus 251, Tesla for plus 150. Uh, did do a pairs trade this morning, ended up scratching it, uh, plus 16. And then on my runners, total plus 693, but only two Two out of 10 were winners. I uh, just had a, a monster winner in Amazon, which was a couple different trades. Uh, Roku minus 156, Twitter minus 232, Roblox minus 440, Facebook minus 545, Amazon plus a little over 3,000, uh, Apple minus 404, Square minus 220, Netflix minus 120, Scratch and Zoom plus 10, and then NASDAQ minus 210. So, Let's go over these, and I'll show you what we did. Let's start with the mighty 90s, uh, starting in Disney. Speaking of Disney, the CEO uh, came out and was talking at some summit, and this thing just tanked. I did not catch any of that. But what I did catch was a mighty 90, and you can't even see the volume. Let me see if I can get that portion off the screen. There we go. So had this uh, had this run up initially, had a little pop in volume, uh, it's hard to see now with these other big spikes uh, on the screen, but uh, this push up. So I got short. I literally I tagged the top pretty good, got short right there, and caught that little little move lower for a nice two hundred fifty one dollar profit. Uh, Tesla was also a mighty ninety, and Tesla uh, made this big push up, spike in volume there, got short right here up at this key level. And uh, moved down. I got out of half my contracts for a nice profit, bounced back up, sat through this chop, and then finally started to roll over, and I just cut out of the rest. Uh, so small profit there in Tesla, plus 150. On to the runners. All right, let me start with the let me start with the NASDAQ here. Man, this was just a tough – I've just – the market's been tough to, for me to trade the last week. Uh, but uh, NASDAQ – uh, I was trying to go short, and whenever uh, – so it's it kind of up and down. looked like it was going to be weak, and then fired all the way back up. And then when it rolled over here and had this big push lower and started chopping, I got short right here. Uh, took off a third of my position down here. I uh, thought we were really going to you know, start chopping. It really had a quick force down. I thought, okay, here we go. We're going to break. Nope bounced back up. And then I was like, okay, here we go. Here we're going to break. Nope. And so when it bounced here, I got out of the rest. So I ended up taking a loss, even though I, I booked some profits on the first part. Um, and so that was the NASDAQ. And then let's go to our other runners, starting with Roku. So Roku had this big spike in volume early in the day, uh, pulled back, got long, and uh, caught this first move, got out of half my contracts there, and then it pulled back and, start, and just started falling hard. So got out of the rest, ended up net-net taking a loss on that one. Uh, Twitter, Twitter, same thing, big volume bar. So on this pullback, got long, looking for a continuation, and just did not happen. So took a loss on that one. Roblox. Roblox was a downside continuation runner. When I when the market started getting weak, I was looking for something to short. So on this bounce here, uh, let's see, what was it? Oh, yeah, on this bounce here, bounced up to the unchanged mark. I got short looking for a rollover, and it just grinded, grinded, grinded. It started to push up, and so I just cut out about right there. Took a loss on that one. Facebook. Let's go to today. Facebook. Uh, let's see. Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. What did I do in Facebook? Oh yeah. So Facebook, uh, had this big weakness pushed all the way into negative territory through the lows of the day. So when it bounced up to this pivot, got short, it rolled over. Uh, oh, you know what? I think I got, I, th I think I got squeezed out. Yeah, I got squeezed out. So it took a loss right there, but right before it, right before it pushed back down. So no bueno in Facebook for me. Uh, Amazon, my big winner. This was a couple of different trades. When I did uh, right, let's see. Oh, yeah. So I uh, had this big weakness, bounced up here, uh, got short right here, held it, held it, held it. When it rolled over here, uh, got out right down here. I only did one contract on that, so closed it out for a, a nice profit. And then 
I was, I was just kind of getting frustrated. And honestly, I don't, I don't like, you know, I mean, this is not, I'm telling you this cause I'm showing you what I did, but make no mistake about it. This is not, this is definitely not, uh, an advice on a way to trade. I was just, I was getting frustrated cause I, I was, I felt like I was trading good. I was cutting my losses. I was keeping good position size and I, you know, sometimes, you know, I'm human. Sometimes I just get frustrated. And so I, uh, when I saw the NASDAQ and, and, uh, Amazon make this big push lower when it bounced right here, almost back to unchanged, I got short and I got short with four contracts and that's bigger size than I typically do. Uh, but I rode this thing down, scaled out of half of it, and then scaled out of the rest down here. So it ended up just being a nice, nice monster trade. That one was about 2,500. This other one was about 500. So uh, 3,010 was the total profit on Amazon. Apple. Uh, let's see, what did we do in Apple? Apple, Apple. Oh, yeah. So Apple, man, you know, Apple, after that lawsuit, I've been really looking at Apple. I was trying to get short up here. I wanted to, didn't, didn't pull the trigger. Then it flushed when it bounced up a little bit. I was like, okay, I, you know, again, I had in my mind that this market was heading lower. So I got short and then this thing just kind of pushed up, uh, added right here, pulled back. I almost got out of some of that, didn't get out and then pushed up. And I just, I had to get out and take a loss. Uh, square. Let's go to SQ. Uh, SQ. So, um, had this just choppy consolidation all morning and then finally it broke, broke all the way down. So when it bounced up, uh, ended up actually when it bounced up to here, I got short right here, very close to getting out of half of my position down here, but just didn't quite hit it and then pushed back up, started chopping. So I cut out of that one, uh, Netflix, you guys are getting to see a lot of my a lot of uh, a lot of losing trades today, but uh, let's see Netflix. Uh, what did I do in Netflix? Oh yeah. So this was kind of a later, early afternoon trade. Um, after the same kind of time as Amazon, when it pushed down, it was just kind of chopping around, chopping around. I was looking for it to break lower. It pushed up, and I was like, oh, you know, here we go. Was, if it was going to push much, much above that pivot, I was going to, I was going to close it, and then all of a sudden, this thing just tanked. And I was like, okay, I was up well over 10% profit on this, but I was looking, I was like, okay, this thing is moving now. And then it literally just bounced on me. So I ended up just closing it out there. And when you know it a little bit later, this thing just flushed. So I, I missed that part too. So, uh, just small loss in Netflix, uh, zoom, zoom, a zoom, zoom, and a boom, boom. So zoom, uh, yeah, so I was, I was, I caught this a little bit late, but I, all of a sudden I saw this big volume spike and then, and then this one here too. So when it pulled back right here, got long, caught this first part, got out of some of my, a third of my position for a profit. And then when it just kind of bled down, I, I got it out of the rest and basically scratched it plus 10. So those are all my trades, uh, ended up green in the day, but, uh, not the way I like to do it. We'll be back streaming live the rest of this week. Look forward to seeing everybody in the live stream room. See you then.